Welcome to the Landscape Town Council meeting of the Planning and Infrastructure Committee of Wednesday the 10th of July. Um, apologies for being... Councillor Alban has a prior engagement. Yeah. Um, any declarations of interest with any of the planning applications? No. Um, the minutes. Can we approve the previous? Yeah, except I was at that meeting. Were you not on the, uh, on the list? No. I was, was at that meeting. meeting. Yes, I just happened to notice that because I remember speaking about something mm. there and yeah, I was there. Uh, apologies for that. I will amend the, Thank you. the minutes. If you could propose and second uh, the minutes with the amendment and then I'll get you to sign the yeah, chair later that's on. Proposed. Second. Second. Right. Okay. Seats. All those in favour. We all agree. We all agree. Yeah. We all agree. I was forgot that. I'm sorry. Sorry. Um. Consultation. Members, this is literally what you looked at last time, um, and it's the removal of the yellow lines to enable the crossing to be put in. Um, that's literally all it is. That's the only amendment. And your comment last time um, was Ramsgate Town Council is pleased to see any improvement to pedestrian safety in Ramsgate and welcomes the fact that there are widened footpaths. However, a pelican crossing would be pref the preferred option. Mm. So with that amendment, you, yeah. you could repeat that or just make no comments then back to you. We could repeat that. I think Pelican to put those are good ideas. So mm -hmm. propose mm -hmm. propose, yes. All those in favour. Okay. Moving on to the planning applications. Are you able to do your thing? I I know I am when I can find my mouse. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 The windows are stunning. Yeah. 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 Here with me. The first application is uh, one Carlton Avenue land adjacent. It's just loading for you. So I'll just put it in the main screen. Can't you could see. There we go. One with well, so, yes, I mean, it, it, it's a space, it's what was a garage space between two houses. I don't think anybody's worried about the idea that there should be something there, but this seems very, very squashed. It's, it's a lot of um, housing for, um, in a very small space, and the residents are particularly concerned about parking. As you see, they have actually provided parking spaces but the parking space, there's only two parking spaces. Parking in that area is horrendous. And um, there's some concern as well about overlooking. So this is, this is before, and there is the building. I mean, there are windows on the gable walls of both adjacent houses, yeah. which will suffer loss of light, but that is not a planning. Yeah, sorry, Councillor Nick. I am. Um, I mean, if you ask me personally, I'd say I'd rather not have it because it's it's like it, it's overdevelopment in a lot of ways. However, um, I can't see it being stopped for two reasons. One is like an infill, but I don't know if you go past the end of South Eastern Road, mm. I can't remember yes. yes, it was. On that it was a white yes. house. Now yes. they've done a house on one side of it yes. and a house on the on other. The other. Yeah, yeah. And so if yes. something like that gets let through, yes. I can't see this not being, I mean, I like the fact that it's, it's in keeping. They're making an effort to make it in keeping. Yeah, I can't. 
Yes, I can't say I particularly like the uh, roof windows at the top, but I'm. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I can see it going through. So we've we've pulled it in into TV Super. Yeah. I my concerns. So if you keep that picture up there, that big house on the corner was unoccupied and it was a single building and it's been turned into I think flats. But I think they were going to run an Airbnb from they decided not to. Now I need to go back to that plan of application because I've got a suspicious feeling that in, its, in that planning application, the parking was allocated in the space by the side of the building that they're now going to build put in a planning application on. So, so oh, that's, that's interesting. I, I, that's, yes. I have, I've yet to go back and look at that. Yes. So that big building there, that was its parking. Yes. And if in that previous planning application, yes, that was the there parking. was an, that was, you know, we're building this, but look, we've got parking here then I don't think this can be approved. No. Well, I don't see that parking is is relevant in this Well, place. it is if we've had a previous... Because we've got, we've got public transport just... I, I, know, I know what you're talking about. We were, we're within the, uh, within the uh, sustainable, sustainable mm. area. But what I'm saying is... No, I understand what... The planning saying. application on that one, if that planning application on the one on the corner... Mm. actually allocated the parking there to get that planning application forward. Mm. How can the same applicant now build on that when it's been allocated mm. to the other building? I don't I'm know. Sort of shocked. I live around the corner from this uh, lovely house. Uh, house of Fullerton used to live in that. They've done a wonderful job on that house. They have. The next part of that was the garage. Mm. The, it wasn't the lot to yeah. the, the cars. Yeah. We've got a, a real problem with parking anywhere there. So if you all of a sudden, they, they want, it's all about this at the end of the day, nothing to do with, it's about money. I mean, the arrangement was restore the house to its form of glory, which they've done. Now, instead of the car park, I'm going to build that. The south, I think, is overloaded and it should be kept as it was, car park for that property. They won't like it, they'll probably appeal, but. So, so for me, it's over development yeah, in terms can. of we don't know whether that space was allocated to a previous planning application, in which case we need guidance from planning yes. as to whether there needs to be an amendment to that planning application yes. before this one can go in. Yeah. So, point, Councillor. Um, uh, I do believe in filling in, well, I've said this before on other applications, filling in okay, I agree with spaces. You. Yeah. Yes. Mm. I agree with you. Um, yeah. And I think the car parking issue, though it's important, is not actually relevant to the um, to the application. I understand what you're saying about the previous one. Um, in which case, I think we can take guidance from the planners. Mm. From the planners. Well, so, so we get guidance. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I've sent an email to, like, to TDC planning, but we could as well. They often they feed back. Uh, some correspondence we've done with it, who is the officer for this, and said to him, I want to call it in if officers are going to refuse. And he said, that's fine, I'll keep you in touch. So I think I can drop him another line and say, we understand that. Right. This is correct, and I think he'll come back to me. Mm. He's been helpful up to me. It seems prudent. So, so the, is that a proposal? I could make that a proposal, yeah. Make that a proposal. Yeah, I'll do that. Mm -hmm. um, so the proposal is that we take advice about planning. Yeah, I, I will. I the name of the house. The previous. It's the same applicant. It's the same applicant. Because the understanding is, I, I need to get the number of that house. Mm -hmm. to yeah. that That's fine. Who's can do that, please? Oh, All those in favour? Yeah. Bigger mm -hmm. island in. Um, there's it's a much place. smaller space than that. So I don't think it out of here. Is, actually. Yeah, it looks bigger than it actually is. Yeah, so it's just it would have been two garages, mm -hmm. maybe three. three. Double garage. But like you said, there's yeah. But it is a messy, a messy, empty piece of land. I agree with infields as well. So. Right. School Lane, yeah. that's interesting. I walked past there this afternoon. So this one, members, is just get it. You called this one, uh, yeah? Yeah. I thought it was quite a big development and quite a tiny room. So it was well, tiny, tiny, tiny room. Uh, but its history is it was a nursery, 
where a two or three year old managed to open the front door and go wandering off. And the nursery closed down because of that. Since then, it's been an office building and a, um, a cannabis factory. <laughs> 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 um, according to more than one neighbour who, who talked to me. But having said that, um, it's a reasonably big building. It's got uh, the wall on the right hand side, which I presume faces east, is a lovely flint wall. But it is very, very overdeveloped. Mm. Yeah, the, the rooms are, are small. Mm. This, this yeah. is your existing. I yeah. suppose. Very busy. That is busy. Gosh. Because I I enlarged it all and I got yeah. to it. Mm. And um how many flats again? I can't two, two, two six, I think. Five. Two two beds. Yes. Two, two three beds and one and one two, two, two bed. bed. Five. Um, it's right next to the wonderful, what's it called, Home Basics that I've never been to before. But I went in, and it's like another world place. Have you seen that? Yeah. Just recently, yeah. <coughs> I've never it's been there. Discovery, discovery, yes. Yes. So that's very useful. Mm -hmm. But local residents are again complaining about the lack of parking. That is not a planning consideration at this in that area, in this area, but um, I did read all the objections. Um, and one of them actually said you can't park in the home basics car park for more than an hour and a half without getting a ticket, <laughs> <laughs> which is irrelevant. Yes, Councillor Shonk. Well, uh, about a minute on, and there was a school on that issue, so I in that area. That's my personal opinion. I think it's overdevelopment. It's overdevelopment. Now, I know you're not going to get away with parking because nobody worries about parking. Now, we keep building, building, and uh, it's just overdevelopment up that road. So, sorry, what is it now exactly? Um, it's got a notice on it advertising office space. Right. Whether it is or not, I don't know. Okay. Can I, I can't see the rubbish. Where they're keeping the rubbish. <laughs> but no, that you can't. There is. There is rubbish places and bicycle places. These people have cottoned on to yeah. the fact. Maybe <laughs> because um, we keep going on about it. Yeah. <laughs> on that ground floor and site plan, there's that paved area. You can go yes, through. I can see and it. It's, it's, it's very busy. Yeah. It is busy. Why is it so busy? What is that? <laughs> what it's a bad drawing. It's yeah. almost like the wall. <laughs> Not the best kind of if they want us to approve it. Not no. the best presentation. No. Um, well, so I mean, I suppose we say over development. Yes. Anyway, so I mean, do we want to say, for example, we're not opposed to um, reduction of the number of units and exactly anything on that? But if it was the reduction of the number of units, yeah. An increase of size of rooms, as yeah. I said. Yeah, I would, I would second that. If that's possible. Yeah. 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 Stop in again. If you relapse in the building, which is what we should be doing. Yeah. Yeah. We do need places for people to live. Um, eighteen rooms. That's me. Oh, you put that question. Yeah. I managed to see this one just like that. So this is the erection of a three-storey rear extension following demolition of existing rear extension together with conversion of loft with erection of rear dormer and insertion of two roof lights. That's the next thing. So it's, um, if you know Bloomsbury Road, it's, you know, your typical sort of like terraced run of, of properties. Um, very cheap by jowl and... This application went in and the immediate neighbour wasn't informed um, and subsequently found out 
and it impacts on her building incredibly to the point where you think somebody would have spoken to her. So, for example, I mean, there's seven issues that she's raised, um, if I can remember some of them. One of them is um, they've got to remove a party wall, which she has a, a building against. So if they move that, that d destroys her building. You know, why would you do that? They um, have to take out a hedge of hers to be able to do it. There's all sorts of things, do you know what I mean? It's along those lines where it's really quite intrusive. It's not just a, you know, she doesn't like it and it will block her light. It's very much a case of um, it completely not only changes her whole backyard and everything, but it actually it, it is, is um, with regards to her party wall and on her land, it, it changes things incredibly. So rightly, I mean, she's sort of like phoning me up going, what on earth do I do? Um, I've called it into TDC anyway, and I've asked her to write in. She did. She wrote a very uh, comprehensive letter about all of this and sent it in. Um, and I wanted us to look at it also. Okay, so this is existing, and this is it's the bit at the front. Yeah. yeah, it's quite a small footprint of this new extension, and it's similar to some of the others along the back elevations of those houses? No, it's not on, on, on that, not so much. It's, um, so each, each one has got, you know, like the basement at the, at the back goes into um, like a tiered garden. Mm. Um, but, and so people don't get much light anyway. This would just take out, I mean, all of her light, but I'm saying it's not just taking out her light, it's actually taking out part of her wall, disrupting a building and so on and so forth. That is it's, not a planning matter, party wall. Um, no, I, I, I believe you. I mean, you <coughs> more about this moment, but there's, there's other things on there and I can't quite remember what they are. Well, one the of them is, um, cuts out light to her impact kitchen. On yeah, it is, which, it's a huge impact on the neighbour. Which, as she says, faces east. Um, I don't... I, personally, I don't think it's that bad. You see the other extensions on the back of these places. I don't think we can object to this. Which neighbour is it? Is it the one to the left or the right? I don't know, actually. I don't know which way round. Applications are really bad at identifying neighbours. Yeah. Yes. Can I ask on mm. the on the next? I think it's going to be the next page. Where does the green is that there? And the next one down. Yes, there we go. Why is there a gap between the red and grey? I think it's just grey. I don't think there's a gap. I think it's grey rather than red. Yeah, but I think they're the dormer windows in the roof. That's yeah. the extension to that bit. And the and other bit's the extension. It just looks there like is a, a roof separate extension. building. But it, it, it is. is. It's not. They've gone up in the roof, so they've gone up into the yes. dormer windows. Yes. That's the extension. Right, OK. That's so why, that's why, the, why it looks like yeah. it's two yeah. separate that's things. Okay. Could, could I have a look at the back, the, the existing and the... And the and the new bit back, the, that, the existing that's one, existing, the existing one. That's there. In which case, I think obviously the, the neighbour is the side where the, yeah. it's... Yeah. And then could you show me what's so the it's, it's got to be number 20, so yeah. it, because that's where the part of the I was, I was thinking the same as Anne Marie, that there isn't anything like it on the street, but clearly there is. And I, I was just thinking... That. Yeah, but that, that is, is so much further than yeah, anything. Yeah, there isn't anything that high actually. Under no, the doors and door windows, it's above and beyond things that are there at the moment. Nobody ever saw the door windows. It's just no. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think some of them we can agree. Some of these residents deserve what we what we're here for. Mm. I wouldn't want people building on part of my garden and knocking down or party wall. But like, sometimes. As the, as the lady or the person that owns them, have you got in touch with their insurance and say this is what's happening? Because sometimes the house insurance can sort that out legally. I don't know. Although the building regs will sort it out with the planet, with the party wall and the... They do. They do. On the other one, clearly the other buildings did go up three floors and then they had a sloped roof. This looks as if it's got a flat roof on, on that looking there. Look at Older, don't so, but older. there is nobody with roof lights, mm. so that might be. Mm. 
They also, those roofs slope, they slope down. If you yeah, look yeah. at the to the t right of the roof, they come to the window of the, yeah. of the, of the so top they two, floor. Are they, they are th lower. I've been around the back. Are they three stories or two storey, these ones that are there? They're two storey as far as I'm aware. But it looks like on the one that we can only see half of, there, there is some sort of dormer on the left. Yes. No, the roof goes up onto the third I don't think the actual... Sorry, I was just looking at the floors here because it looked like it was... It's a flat roof, isn't it? Whereas they're sloping. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's... I, I think it's a two... I think they're two-storey because... The, the roof goes into the third storey, but the, the, there isn't a third storey. The third storey is the roof. Yes, exactly. So that would be our battleground then, that really this is not in keeping with existing... No, the three stories before you get to the roof. No, but what we're saying on the other ones yeah. is that they're two storey yeah. and the third storey is actually the roof mm. where there isn't any living room space, which is why they sit below and slope. Yes. Well, maybe Whereas, this is the higher house then. Mm. Uh, so I would, I would suggest mm. that a floor needs taken off. I agree. I mean, I'd, I'd suggest it was, it was excessive. Mm. Yeah. And not in keeping with existing extensions. Yeah. I'm afraid I don't agree. I think they'll get this. They may be so many getting it, but it's what well, it's a very no, it's a very small extension. And um but, I mean are you proposing or am I proposing Councillor Wing? Because I'm happy to Well what we've also got, because look at the side of the house, they've also got a dormer coming out. There isn't a dormer either. No. So the extra floor on the dormer yeah. is not in keeping with, yeah. the, with the existing skyline. So I'm yeah. quite happy to propose that as a motion. Yeah. That, you know, second we don't well, have why a Why are you objecting to a dormer? Because, because, because it's exactly. in the back of the house. It can't be seen from the front. I, I don't see why they can't have a dormer. Well, I don't think it's in keeping with what's there. But it, do the... It's Rather, over development. Does the <coughs> shabby backs of these have houses demand things to be completely no, in but, keeping? No, they could, they could redo this without the dorm and it wouldn't be yeah. shabby. I mean, shabbiness or not is not a planning consideration. No, exactly. <laughs> there is a proposal on the table that we have to But I, I would mention that. The effect on the light of the neighbour. Yeah, yeah. Light the light And, yeah. and yeah. I just just want to talk. Planning issues. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's still our it's opinion. opinion. Yeah. I, I want to adapt to my motion. So my motion would be that that door is now overlooking skylights, you know, for Luxies would look up. Yeah. So I think it's overdevelopment on the grounds of this one too many floors. And the dormer is not in keeping with what's existing on the backs of those properties. So we would advise removing the dormer and taking that floor off. Light is a planning issue, isn't it? Well, it can be. It can be. It has to be. But it has to be very, very extreme. Yeah. An impact on neighbours. So that, I thought those windows were in the roof, so they'd be sloping and looking up. But they're not. They're flat. They're looking out. So that's my motion. Second, second, Bramberry. All those in favour? I'm, I'm going to vote against it too. Yeah. So it's carried. Well, anyway. Yes. Yeah. It'll go through there. Yeah, but I'm still, we still need to say we're not happy with the development of everything. Now, 22 are being placed. 20 to 22 are being placed. Mm -hmm. You called this impact, you know. Did I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I only read that it's because it's big. Well, it's ages ago. Okay. It's big and significant. It's quite a big development. It's quite a seven. important development. Yeah. yeah. It's 13. And um, having looked at it, I think um, I think it's okay. <laughs> Um, there's quite a good, yeah, and it's not that one, but there's a 3D one. That's what it's going to look it's like. It's on the car box in that. There are, there yeah. are parking, right. parking spaces at the back. Um, of course, there are a load of objections that the fire is that what is won't be able to get down Cottage Road or whatever. But I think it there. personally, yes. I think it looks quite in keeping. Yes, yes. 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 And the plans that they have. I'm sure it's 
There was I came to the Ramsgate Heritage Design Forum and oh, I'm hoping once I put a motion in we'll be invited to this group, not only as advisory with no voting powers because they don't want that. Yeah, yeah. But one of the issues they brought up was the uh, if you look at the existing buildings on this side and that side, that the that the and we're probably safe to develop the money, that round the windows that's just too much. You know, the, the big the big bit around the window is not in keeping with what's on that mm. side here. It's very simple, and they've gone a bit bit more ornate, mm. chunky around mm. the windows. So that was really the only thing. I think they also there was something to do with the levels at the top, but that will go in. You know, why? But yeah, there was something. I think the TDC planners will sort that out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, oh, I'm mm. in the gosh, it's digging. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's kind of chunk. The wall on our way is looking at that big hole, two years. Yes. Yes. The street scene, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The street scene sells it for me because, yeah. you know, we're talking about regency wound. Yeah. It's been looking at quite a lot of them. I mean, they are flats, and originally yeah. they would have been houses, mm -hmm. but they won't be houses these days. And we are so with the inside of it and everything. Sorry? We okay with the inside of it and everything? Are they good proportions and so on? Yeah, it's pretty. I think, oh, yeah, it's fine. I, think yeah. the, I think the flats are basement and first floor, and then you go in the end of the other, yeah. which is good. Councillor Nix, I propose no comment. No, or no drops. I will second no comment. I propose congratulating you. Are those in favour of no comment? I think one of the things, I mean, we voted on it, but one of the things, given it's central developers around the corner at Hibernian, it's, it's the, the uh, building phase which needs to be considered at the No, TBC. but the CDC, did, yeah. they have to do a construction yeah. plan, don't they? Uh, Any town centre? Yeah, it'll probably come to planning if there's that many objections. I don't think there were that many objections. But, um, now... Please come back. So that's for number, <coughs> number six is the interest, an uh, interesting one, Rook's Delicatessen, where they're trying very, very hard to squeeze a lot of stuff onto it. Mm -hmm. And the plans, it's very difficult to see. Oh, yes, what is the we talked about this the last time, didn't we? we? Yeah. This was rejected by TDC, the last one. Yeah, yes. yeah. and us a lot as well. Of it affects the people at the back and the side. Um, you commented March 2024, mm -hmm. Ramsgate Town Council objects to this application on the grounds of bin storage, overdevelopment and the impact mm -hmm. on neighbouring properties. Um, Dean and I have had a look at this and we can't see, and there's a comment in here from TDC about bin storage. Mm -hmm. uh, Get that up for you. Oh. It's a bin store yeah. and entrance to the flats is coming out onto the steps at the side of the property. Please, can we be advised where the front of these properties will be, as this should be the collection point, and on the steps is not possible. Mm. Um, there's no no response as far as I'm aware. Mm. So I tend to think <laughs> it's still over development. <laughs> In principle, I don't mind another story on it, but it's how how that's used and yeah. how how you yeah. access it. And yes, how has it changed since this since our last comment? <coughs> um, <coughs> I didn't look that up. Uh, increase in roof height to provide additional floor and two dormers to the front and one dormer to the rear. They made it bigger since we rejected it. I don't know, I didn't look at the old one. That's the chunk. It's our town centre. If it's been refused before, I think we should refuse it again. It was re Do we have a TDC reason for refusal? Yes, it's all listed. Um, I read ours. Basically, the size of it, the prominent location. That's all right. It was the windows at the front that was a good opportunity to do something. The proposal was for six months, and there's now three. I think perhaps there was an extra floor at the back, but there isn't any more. 
Oh, this is definitely an objection from the neighbours that they yes. have ignored their access. access. Their yes, but it's, it's, it's half the number of flats. I mean, it's obviously for the developer a tricky site. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Being on the slope. Yes. But I think with the story, anyway. Eileen, can you get the phone with me? Because one of the objections, one of the real stories that you got from the development was the windows. And I think they were going to put the original critical windows, windows in. And we said, given that TDC had just introduced this shop front policy, yeah. that the developer needs to go back and have a look at the shop front policy mm -hmm. and do something a bit better than what they're proposing, which is basically to re just replace the existing windows. It's, that's not the shop front, though. No, but the, it, it is the, it's, the, it's the front of a it's building in, in, a, in, a, in a retail area. So that was, I, me, I remember we had deep discussions about that at TNC, about yeah. how they can do better with the, with the front of the windows. It looks to me like there is proposal that at the front, on the bit facing the street with Abbott's Hill at the side, that there is a balcony with a, with a door. Yes, it's, I've just read that. But it's, that seems yes. odd yeah. and not really in keeping. Mm. So it's on actually front. one balcony yeah. on the rear yeah. elevation following alterations to fenestration and turn on layout. See, the front of the building just looks ridiculous. There's no... It looks really odd. There's no... It's disjointed. I, I can't make it. It looks strange with it. I think um, it's in a prominent location in our shopping centre. I think I will um, propose that it's over development and affects the neighbours. Yeah, not in keeping with them. Yeah. Um, well, it's in keeping with what's there already. And nobody can be approved. And we're not we're not in the business of getting them. We're not allowed to. Which is very frustrating. The yes. conservation officer's every report goes, This is missed an opportunity for X. Yes. Yeah, but we've now got the shop front policy. No, it's advisory. It's advisory. We're not allowed to just go and have a look. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it. Mm -hmm. well, did you want to mention bin storage or anything like that? Yes, that's the last time that was bin storage. Yeah, yeah. obviously, James Murphy's done so. It won't go through, will it? Um, can anyone second that proposal, yes. Councillor Austin? Those in favour? Yeah, I mean, generally we don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, Again, it's, it's a very. On there, but it's, yes, it's, it's not very messy and difficult. It's it's like, that's it. Yeah. It doesn't look. Your next one is 49, 49 square. square. You call this one. I did call this in because uh, I got, a, I got a, while I was away, I got a phone call that I actually picked up and ended up having nearly half an hour <coughs> with a resident to the other side because this work had been undertaken. It, is it the little houses up the side? Mm. No, 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 it's a completely different one, sorry. No, it's, uh, there is an extension on the side. So it's an extension on the side of the big... Yeah. We, again, this came because I'm getting confused now because this came up. We've had several in Bellsquare. The Ramsgate Design Forum. No, it's not. We we that's existing. We think this is we think this is quite bonkers because they're putting basically a glass box on the side of a house that's never going to get any sun. Uh, I think Ram, the, the Design Forum decided that it was it it. And we looked at the other building and we and we sort of said it's not in keeping, but the other buildings have so. The, on this side of our square, you've got you've got detached properties. Well, uh, but actually, I think the neighbours have done a similar thing. But, but we we decided it was a strange thing to do to this property mm. to actually put a glass box on the side of ours that's never going to get any sun anyway. Uh, so it um, it changes the front of the building, the look of the front of the building. It unbalances the building. It, I mean, I, I don't. I think those houses, a lot of them, are quite ugly Victorian houses. Mm -hmm. I know when I say that, everybody thinks that old houses are good, but they're not all good. <laughs> yeah, it just looks out. It says to. Um, it's a conflict. What do you call it? I mean, I don't particularly mind it. The neighbour has written it along 
not long letter, actually quite brief, who I know when I've been in that house. Um, objecting, yes, Councillor Schonk. That's on the building that we looked at, we said street scene. That goes against all that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I think we looked at the street scene, and actually somebody else has done a, 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 a zim field a bit with a with with something on the street scene. But it, we was definitely there are. But let's go back to the street scene. So on this building on the right, there are windows that look down onto this glass box, and the glass box it's got glass top. So the whole thing is overlooked. So. so it's quite strange that somebody would build something that everybody else can overlook and they can look up as well. So, uh, I'm not, not keen and I don't see why they need it, but that's not well, how's that be? Why would you? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't seem appropriate to the area at all. Mm -hmm. See, you can see the one next door has done a similar thing coming out because that, first of all, I thought, well, you know, these are houses with a gap in the side. But actually, the other ones filled that bit in. Um, yeah, too close to the neighbour, and we just felt it was hmm, over, overlooking. It, it would be overlooked by the side of that building. This side below. Can door. we can we object on those grounds that it would, it itself would be overlooked? I don't think we can. <laughs> I, can't, I was overlooked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a conservation area, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And it's, so it's a conservation location. Well, it's not appropriate development in a conservation area. Exactly, area. that's, that's what basically what I would exactly. say as well. So that's what they I would Rebuilding the front wall, which should actually disguise it a little bit. Is it, it just not balances the whole building. <laughs> The building isn't balanced. It's not wearing on socks. Because there's no front door. That's my objection to it. That's not to do with any The front door's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, there are two cable things. So it's either in a program development or over development in the conservation area. Let it be worth that. But I'd second that. Yeah. What were you saying? Inappropriate or overdevelopment. Or overdevelopment in a conservation area. Yeah. Okay, all those in favour. They're sort of subject, I think, though. There's some fondness about these buildings because they're. I'm going to stay easy. because I'm confused. Yeah, they're, like they're like tugs. Mm -hmm. They're like tugs. They're pretty ugly, but they're so sturdy. They've got very noisy children, I shouldn't say that. It's interesting the type of buildings that we've got in this area, isn't it, when you see these things? Well, Andrew next door has said it's a, like a miniature example of Victoria Villa, Victorian Villas, yeah. which it probably yeah. is, but Victorian Villas are not necessarily lovely things. Mm. It's size rather than... It's a gorgeous yard garden, oh. so... Mm. Oh, then, OK. 27 Albion Road. I can't remember why I put this Erection of the first, second and third floor side extension with front and rear balconies. Uh, Councillor Makinson called it in its size and important position. Would you like to put it up? Sorry. <laughs> so, as you can see on the right, they're going up. Oh, right. Yeah. That's an interesting. So there are several large... Properties at the top of this road, which have been HMOs and very mm. small flats, and gradually they've been bought up and redeveloped into much better looking from the outside properties right. with more sensibly sized flats. Oh, so yes. But this one now wants to expand. That's massive. So, the roof line. Yeah, they're huge buildings. So, that's what it will look like. And so. Existing. Ooh, it will look like. Is that a sheer wall? I think it's big extensions. I mean, I think I don't think I'd object to an element of infill, but I think again, it's gone above and beyond what you think would be appropriate. It's like it doesn't show the next house. No, does it? no. Just I mean, that could be too, like too, too much. It's exactly. It's very wall. imposing. Yeah. Well, you've got Don't we have a glimpse of how close this is, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. I wonder if there's any walls or windows on that so side. So it's just right up to the next house. Yeah. Which is pretty close. Yeah. Mm. Is that over the windows there? 
There is a window at the top. Yes, top. yes, yes. I can yeah. see that in this photograph. Yeah. I mean, it is at the top. Dorma. Yes, it comes to I wonder what the neighbours think about it. Sorry, I can't hear you. I wonder what the neighbours think about it. Any concerns? Yeah, I neighbors? can't remember seeing any objections. Mm. Can you? Well, it depends what was on I gave up before I got to that. I mean, hmm. I propose over development. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, because it is just too much. Yeah. I'll second it. Yeah, all those in favour of over development. I think that includes travel. It does. And does it include yeah, it? Does yes, it does. Yeah. 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 I was just looking at the floor plans on many of these new flats. They're quite. Reasonably proportioned. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it goes to the next. It's made big improvements to those buildings and the living conditions. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that if you're going to go up one floor, possibly even two, it might have been okay. But I think it's just a bit open. Yeah, really massive. So that's, that's okay. That's fine. Thanks. 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 National Grid, bring it so, on. So, uh, members, you were sent an email inviting you to attend um, virtual consultations with. Parish councils, um, Councillor Huxley and Councillor Wing said, yes, we can attend. And I had an email back to say, it's full up. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, all of them? Yeah. So, but they do have... That's a joke. They're for extended. Yeah. What we're looking for, a uh, town clock suggests, they are, the lady at um, National Grid has offered... Um, date with Minster Parish Council, so it's a virtual meeting, 17th of July at 10am, and considering that it's Minster, we are next to Minster, yeah. it's just that maybe one or two councils could join that, if, if you wouldn't mind volunteering, and then I can go through and give your email addresses to the lady at National well, Quiz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm afraid it's far too short notice. Mm. So actually, yeah. I think I'm in London. Is that the day I'm after the dog? No, no, that's the day you come to the dog. That's the day you come to the dog. That's, 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 that's got to be one of the objections to pins. So that's Wednesday next week. Is it Wednesday it's next different. week? Yeah. From the original consultation they had. This is this is where this they is are presenting. Um, presenting. They're on parish councils and they're all members of parish councils. They've slightly adapted the plans, and I think, or we believe in. in uh, oh, we, they're now concentrating on doing some of the archaeological stuff out in the sea. So we, the whole question's got to be asked have they got the appropriate licenses for, for the. The, for the MMO, but they seem to be distracting land-based stuff, which is basically 100 Dover yeah. castles in size. I mean, yes. don't we have a right as, as, the, as a parish council yes. to have something that, that we you know, must attend? I mean, it's all very well trying to sort of like big back on ministers, yeah. Yeah. but it's like we are a parish council. Can we invite them to come here? I think these, these are all virtual. Yeah, these virtual. Are virtual. Right. If it's all, I mean, I was talking about being in the day and I might not be able to get to it. That's one thing. They can't always accommodate everybody, so they can't accommodate me. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But for it to be full up, is that wrong? Just really, 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 really. we don't get a look in. And I think we need to say that. Yeah. Okay, fine. The other option is Deal, Deal Town Council have got a session, 23rd of July at 2 pm. Of, that she could oh, add mem can our members to. Can I get into that one, actually? Yes, yeah, so I could probably um, do that, yeah. but I can't do the same thing. And I'm, I'm with oh, and I'm 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 I think I've got to send a strongly worded mind. letter back to say yes. we've got, a, a, you know, it is very important. All our, all our councillors want to attend this. Yes. It's something that we have had lots of concerns expressed from residents and that we will be writing to PINs to strongly object to the fact that you have been unable to accommodate us. On very touchy issues. Yeah. And that's just an excuse. I know there's a lot of anti anti against it. But we've got all the right to sit around the table yes. and see these people because they're trying to fob you off. Yeah, yeah. 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 So okay, I will I will reword that. Yes, so, thank you. But in the meantime, Councillor Austin, Councillor Hayden, do, do you want me to yeah. put you forward for the deal one? For the 20th, so that at least we've got just some. Okay. What is one activity?
Um, Seventeenth is, is next Wednesday at ten o'clock. You can do that. I just looked at. Is that online? Yes. Yes. I should be. I can do it from home. Okay. Sorry, that is Tuesday the 23rd, yes, because I've got the 23rd, yeah. yeah. At 2. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, oh, get there. Because so ironically, I'm Tuesday, just um, off on Wednesday and Thursday. It says 1 to 2.30 30 on times. here. Is that, is that a different slot to the one that there is? This is an, another offering. I, I oh. do right. Could, could you send me the details just in case I'll get a chance to go? If it's Please. 1 o'clock at um, What I'd have to do is give you them your place. email address. So if I do that anyway... That's interesting. Can you just check the time for us, Eileen? Because they're looking up in the as well. Yeah. I could do one o'clock, two minutes. Ten o'clock, I can do that. So. Okay, so I've got Councillor Wing for the Minster, one at ten on the 17th. Councillors Austin, Hetherington, and Shonk for the 23rd of July, one at 2 pm. But I will check that. Thank you. The other ones they're doing is they've got two webinars in Kent scheduled for the 16th and 22nd of July, both at 6.30, um, which they, she's saying we could slot into that. But I think I need to go back to her and say we need, we need something more. What, what I could do is, if anybody wants, can, can last minute join that Wednesday one, just come round to my house. Yeah. But you can put me down for the Wednesday. Oh, I, I don't want to go to Jackie's house. That's the green party. So that we've got more people listening to what we're saying. Mm. So I'll send an email to them saying that we're disappointed. Not at all, Because this is statutory consultation. Yes. <laughs> and feel that we should have our own consultation. Yeah, and that yes. Yes. I feel that we want something that they offer us in that respect. Yes, so and we, we should have our own consultation. Mm -hmm. We're a statutory body. Exactly. And say that we, I think we should. Okay, okay. can we have one meeting? Right. Okay, I think we should then follow this up, tell them we're going to follow it up with a strongly worded well, email to, that to the planning inspectorate so it gets lodged into that whole process, yes. which is very important. But I suspect they don't need planning, the planning inspectorate. I expect it could be like the DCO or whatever. The DCO has to. Mm -hmm. A decision mm -hmm. has to go through the Well, side. okay, maybe I'm right. I can't just jump hoops. But no. this infrastructure, they they can probably just do it. No, they have, they have, it has to have, legally, it has to have inspectors. It has to go through this. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has to. Like Kylons. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they, they have the inspectors and say, yes. no, this is a terrible idea, and yes. the Secretary of State can say, well, we're having it anyway. Like, yes. this yeah. is a, set, a set procedure yes. which must be followed, it's and, and the National Board will be heavily criticised for not doing the consultation correctly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Right, so we've so a strong feeling on that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Are we all in flavour of what? Flavour. Flavour. <laughs> all in flavour. <laughs> flavour. Yeah. Flavour. Okay. And then there is a confidential. You need a proposing second to, to go into confidential. I propose that we go to confidential. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. So, I need to end book.